Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Thursday, the 29th of December, 2022, also known as My Day Back from Break, and also known as the FedEx Day from Hell. Um, as you know, earlier this week, my capture device died, the one that I used for eight and a half freaking years. A fan of mine overnighted a replacement device that's an updated model of the one that I had been using, um... And it was supposed to arrive yesterday on Wednesday, my day off. It did not because FedEx didn't deliver it. They claimed that they tried and didn't have access, which is baloney because they have all the information about my private community, including the gate code. Uh, They just didn't do their work. So they bumped the shipment. Now it was supposed to arrive today. And basically the entirety of the first stream was us sitting around, dicking around, waiting for this thing to arrive. I tried out a new capture device in this Black Magic Intensity Shuttle. It did not work whatsoever. In fact, it caused errors all over my computer when it was plugged in. Kind of interesting. And then finally, around 2.30 p.m. today, <clears throat> the the uh, device arrived. It's called the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable Plus... No, Portable 2 Plus uh, device. <clears throat> it's weird. It's a weird shape for sure. Like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, this thing is oddly designed and shaped. Um, But anyway, after messing around with it for about an hour, we actually got it working. And the visuals were looking quite good, but the audio seemed to have a little bit of issues with sync. uh, Mostly because I think the video actually had to process a tiny bit before it would show up in my OBS. And because of that, the audio was coming out instantly while the visuals were a little delayed and they weren't perfectly synced. So basically, the entire first stream was us messing around yet again, doing silly stuff, um... And then finally, when the, the device arrived, you know, unboxing it, hooking it up, getting it working. The late stream tonight was me messing with the device in God of War Ragnarok and Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2. In God of War Ragnarok, I said, you know what? Instead of wasting a video, why not go to Muspelheim? Muspelheim is an optional combat-only challenge area. And I said, I'm going to eventually probably check it out anyway. This is a throwaway kind of a stream. <clears throat> so why not go there, set up the visuals, try to sync the audio with the visuals and test and see what people thought. So I did it. People were like, wow. They were blown away. They said the color's way better than your old capture device. The frame rate for the most part is smooth and buttery and way better. It used to always chop up in combat and now in God of War, it's actually smooth and nice. So they're like, this is a significant, not just a small, but a significant improvement from your old capture setup. And I was like, this is good news, okay? So we actually did Muspelheim for about 45 minutes, and I completed the first whole six challenges. I think now there's the second half of Muspelheim, which is six more challenges that are more difficult. But, yeah, like, we got them all done. I was like, sweet. We, we, we basically kind of steamrolled it, and uh, people loved it. Then I swapped over to Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, and I said, well, the best way to test this is going to be the multiplayer. So we played the multiplayer for a little over an hour, all right? Here's the consensus. Visually... Colors are better, for sure. When there's a lot of action, okay, in general it's better, but with Call of Duty, it did still chop up. I did notice as I was looking over at my my, uh, OBS, yes, the processor, my CPU, was maxing out a lot playing Call of Duty, while playing God of War it was not. I guess what it is a Call of Duty, there's just so much action going on. Unless I had a much higher end PC or capture device that was really going to take the load off the processor, I can't really help it that much. What I'd like to do is I want to watch back that footage myself tonight. Like, I'm going to skim through it right now and take a look at it and see how it looked for myself. I also want to see if I had gotten the audio to sync because, like I said, the audio was desync. Well, actually, it's really the video was desync from the audio a little bit. I want to see if I got it right. If not tomorrow, I might still tweak it a little bit more. But for the most part, I tested it on PlayStation. I tested it on Xbox. It's working fine, and the quality is improved from what I used to have. So maybe this is kind of like a gift in disguise. I mean, yeah, it sucked that I lost two days of gameplay uh, progress, but as you guys know, I've been using that same capture setup for eight and a half years. Now we have a new webcam that we've been using for two months that you guys seem to really like the quality, and now we have a new capture device that's better color, clearer visuals, you know, less choppiness in action. And it's funny because someone had said tonight, I think it was Super Bad Cat, they said, you know, again, maybe this is a blessing in disguise because, you know, you were talking about how you really wanted to upgrade your PC, but you can't right now. Maybe this is going to add longevity. And he might be right because, you know, we were getting some corruption in gameplay videos recently over the last six months or so. Maybe once or twice a month, I'd get a batch of videos that has some corruption. And then I have to, like, rip the, the video out of the archive stream on YouTube in order to upload it. But maybe that was the capture device. 
I mean, if the capture device was already having issues where if I got close to it, it would like turn off, right? Maybe also it was having corruption issues. We don't know if it was the capture device or if it was my hard drive. We don't know what the, the root cause of the corruption in those videos was. Maybe this device is going to give me improved visuals, no more corruption. Maybe I'm good. You know, maybe I, for now, I mean, of course, I want to upgrade my PC, but maybe this will put some of the pressure off from me having to worry so much about it. And uh, maybe we'll have a big improvements for 2023. I guess we're going to find out. Okay. So here's what I would like to say. Thank you all to everyone this week who understood Monday, Tuesday, and today should have been days when I was doing gameplay and it didn't happen because we were messing around and waiting for a new capture device and doing all this crap. Thank you for understanding and thank you to those who showed up and still supported the streams. All right. Today, admittedly, not so great. I don't blame anyone. This was day three of pretty much no real gameplay. Um, I hope tomorrow we get back into the swing of things, okay? Now, tomorrow, first stream will be the Level 1 Podcast. I actually have announcements I didn't even tell you guys today. For example, I'm doing an extended streaming week this week. I didn't even tell you yesterday because I forgot. I should say today. I forgot because of everything going on with this freaking FedEx situation and the new capture device. So I'll explain all that tomorrow morning, okay? Then, first gameplay stream, God of War Ragnarok. We're going to continue on with Muspelheim. See how hard it is to finish it. Maybe finish it, maybe not. We'll see. And then we're going to go back to the basin and attempt to finish up the basin. If you remember, we killed two out of the three dragons. Uh, we were well on our way to major progress in finishing up the basin. So hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Tomorrow night will be the continuation of High on Life. Apparently there's two assassinations left. Someone said to me, actually the end of the game is short and I may beat it tomorrow night. I guess we'll see what happens with that. That means that Saturday will be Pokemon Scarlet continuing and Warzone. And then my plan is to kind of continue on with that schedule until we start finishing games. And then we can finally do the, the year-end series. Okay? Thank you guys so much for understanding. I will ask you this. Tonight, I did a test video of God of War. That video will actually become part of the God of War playthrough since it is an actual section of Muspelheim. I also did some Call of Duty gameplay. If you could do me a favor, watch the gameplay, leave comments, and let me know did, how did it look, how did it sound, any suggestions for improvement? Was it better? Was it worse than the last? What do you think? All right? Please let me know. And uh, and we'll go from there. And hopefully, like I said, tomorrow things can get back to normal. Normal streams, normal levels of engagement, support, and everything back to normal with progression as well. And one final huge thank you to the longtime viewer and fan who donated this new capture device. Because, man, did I need it badly. And now it looks like I'm going to be able to keep going, which is excellent. And now it's improved from what I had, which is even better. So... It's kind of like I said, maybe a gift in disguise, right? Guys, thank you so much. See you tomorrow for a full day of gameplay finally. Peace out. Have a good night.